Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, I have my airsoft review of the Noveski VFC M4. And just let me say, this is a beast of a gun. First thing you want to notice immediately, it is, it's pretty small. Um, honestly, with the with the stock back, uh, the stock kind of doesn't go back with this from the battery. It's a small gun. I have the Noveski thing off, and I also sometimes use my suppressor. But it's a very small gun. I believe this is sporting a 300 millimeter barrel. It is a think so. It doesn't. It looks like it's too small for 247. So or too big for 247. It's gonna say 300 millimeter barrel. And I guess we'll start off the back. The battery is housed in the crane stock, and the crane stock is very tough. It will only accept 1600 9, 1600 milliamp 9.6 batteries. Um, it's five position crane stock, however with this battery you can probably get one, two, three, eh, if you're lucky four. Um, but this is it's very this is very compact. Um, it has so the rail systems are um, there are rail systems. I'll get to those later. Up front uh, which I, I love this. It has literally a functioning bolt catch. I pull this back and it clicks in. And it's caught. And now this is so I can just hop up here. Now what I have to do is I have to actually press the bolt catch right here for it to go back. And now the stock is back. So I pull it back, locks in place, press the bolt catch, and it works. Um, this has it's a very it's a thinner pistol grip than most AEGs, and. I think in order to amp up the motor, you're gonna have to replace this because I I have an amp high torque and it can't fit in here now. So right now I'm running the stock motor, which is it's a, it's a high torque. It's just not a five thousand whatever which my high my amp one is, and um, it it just doesn't go the other way. So which that leads me to believe that we need you know you need. Probably uh, say a myad grip, something that's not this thin pistol grip, in order for the motor to go in. It's no big deal though. This is pretty comfortable, but there are comfortable ones. Myad grip, a comfort grip, whatever you you name it. Uh, I just put this through my torture test today. I took it airsofting, and I'm gonna say it it was dead. I'm hitting on. I'm using point two fives and it's shooting three hundred eighty. And maybe this is gonna have broken the spring, and I'll, I'll assume it's gonna drop 10 or 15 FPS if it hasn't already. And I was hitting people from at least 200 feet away, and that's not an estimate. That's I was pretty much nailing them. It's very good. So moving on again, it's an all metal body, all metal, metal. Even the crane sock, the crane sock of course plastic, it's just a part. Everything else is metal though. Go figure. Um, rail systems metal. The block, the mock gas tube. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's that silver thing. It's metal. Um, then the subterranean site is a little plastic. So now, I guess we'll go on to the interesting stuff. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't find a regular. I took off the orange tip. I couldn't find a regular, you know, M4 birdcage suppressor that wasn't orange. So, I'm sorry, guys, uh, but you're gonna have to bear with me. And I just want you, so this is, oh, I'm not trying to mention, there's the top rail, and the top rail you can mount whatever the living hell you want. Um, one thing to mention, and I think this is kind of worth noticing, it didn't come with a front sight. This is the one on my SCAR, which I'm going to sell, there's a, late, there's a video, I'm going to post a bit later video on that. This is the front sight off my SCAR. And it, um, oh, my computer screen died. The front side of my scar, and this had to, uh, I had to put this one on here. So, but it's, it's no big deal. I guess if you have a flip up or even a stationary back sight, go for it. I suggest not, I, it is slip already, but I'm going to show you how fast it shoots, and then you honestly tell me if you think you should use the lipo. I wouldn't. It's very fast. So, Dry firing it out without anything on it, it sounds like this. 
very crisp trigger pull at a full auto. Very crisp. So now with the no Noveski, um, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This does make it pretty. I understand that you can only hear so much, um, because my audio probably is not good. I am recording this from like my webcam, so I'm gonna assume that it's not that great. But you're gonna have to take my word for this one. Um, when I say that whatever you hear out of this, multiply that by four, and this isn't, an, you know, me just being some punk kid, this is literally, multiply that by four, and this is what it sounds like. So, semi-auto again. Shit, that is loud. Okay, moving on, full auto. Wow, okay, that actually makes my ears ring. And that's just no, and so that's with the thing. It, it came with this, and it's very loud. So when I go CQB, so they better watch out. I'm telling you, this shoots really fast as well. So now, just with the suppressor on, I figure I should do this because this is a real um, suppressor. It has foam inside, and it works pretty well on my other guns as far as actually suppressing the noise goes. So I I do that. Um, I I'm more for one of quiet, but for, definitely for CQB where rate of fire is power. I do kind of go with loud simply because it's not like they already don't know where you kind of are. So with the suppressor, that is a huge difference. Honestly, um. It, 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 this has real foam inside it. It's it's silent. It's not that loud. And full auto. It, you can definitely hear it's more of a hollow tone. It's more of a hollow tone than anything else. Now, um, so that's the review of the gun. Now, I just want to point this out. They say classic army versus VFC is your personal preference. Internals for internals. VFC, VFC takes the cake. But that's not the only reason you should get a VFC. These exteriors look amazing. There are Noveski trademarks on this thing. Everywhere. It is... The rails are numbered. There's a numbered... Uh, it's, it's amazing. This thing, from the outside, looks so good. I, I just can't believe it. I'm, I'm, this is the first AEG high end, as in 300 plus, I've ever officially bought and, and not made. I am so impressed. I'm probably not going to build myself another M4 for me, for uh, uh, ever. I'm probably just going to go off of this one. And it, I can do it because it's so versatile. So as far as VFC versus Classic Army goes, I have to give this to VFC. I have used Classic Armies, but the internals and just the overall performance and look pushed me for a VFC. You, I believe it's called the Mark 16. It's a pretty penny. You will not be disappointed. And um, honestly, this is very, it's very good. I, I would recommend this to anyone. Beginners to expert players. I would, this is what you definitely want to get. And the best part, it's so accurate because the inner barrel comes stock at 6.04. I don't really need to upgrade this unless I want to go to 6.01. And that that's for me what sells it. So I think it's a lot more realistic than anything else too, just simply because of that bull catch and everything. All right. Well, that's it. That about wraps it up, guys. This is probably one of my longer videos. I usually don't make these long videos, so you have to pardon me. And this has been the VFC Vega Force Company M4 rail um, crane stock and combat rail system review. I think it's called the Mark 16. Someone confirm that for me. I'd be grateful. Don't know. But thanks for watching, guys. And... Stay tuned to my video, subscribe to me. I have more stuff for sale, I have more reviews, and I have more of everything. Alright.
Uh, thanks a lot.